Hey everyone, welcome to Wild West Survival. Um, let's jump right into here. Uh, I up the graphics alt ultra. I don't know how big of a difference it's going to make. Also, I cannot hear this game for the life of me. I know there's audio coming through because I can see it on the little recorder. My, uh, my audio bars are doing this, but it's not very high. It's very, very low. Okay, um, we got skin color. Hair color, I don't care. Cowgirl, cowboy, sure, why not? Start game. And, you know, for, for as cheap and basic as the game looks, it's taking a long time to load. Wow. Unless it locked up, which is a good possibility. And if it locked up, this is only going to be a minute video. No! Okay, here we go. Um... Alright, I like this. This is like many, many survival games where, um, you know, you, you just start crafting and you need to make shelter and you get wood and water and food. So this is pretty interesting already off the bat. Alright, so, okay, there's a, a deer. Alright, well, let's walk over here. Let's see if we can craft a stone axe. Craft a pickaxe. Torch, camp bed. Okay, campfire, not camp bed. Campfire, okay. Um, let's see, I can't punch. That's one thing I can't do. I thought I'd be able to, like, go punch the tree. You know, that's pretty basic on all games like this, but maybe not. All right, let's pick up these rocks. And craftables. We need wood. Sticks. Sticks and rope. How do you make rope? I have no idea. Is there rope in here? Rope. You need fiber. Okay. So we need fiber and sticks. Is this pickable? No. Just these rocks. Okay. The one little thing that I can already tell that's going to be kind of annoying is you have to point exactly at the rock. So you can't pick it up here, 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 here. You got to be on it. Okay. Um. Well, let's figure out how to get fiber. You would think it'd be from these ferns. No. Okay. Uh, maybe these green plants. Oh, I bet it's these right here. This thing. Are you gonna you're gonna give me tomatoes? Okay, that gave me a couple tomatoes. What about you? Bush. Yeah. Uh, okay. Take the fiber out of the bush. All right. That's fine. That makes that actually makes perfect sense. Okay. Let's make a couple of these. Okay. We made a bunch of rope. That might be too much rope. Um, and we have a stick. Where did I get a stick? The tomato plant, maybe? I don't know. Two seconds, one second, done. Alright. Now we have an axe. With this axe, I shall chop this tree down. You get wood logs. Okay. And we need to make a pickaxe, a campfire. Alright, let's see. What can we build here with logs? Firewood, bow, an arrow, a simple bed, a torch. Alright, we need more fibers to make uh, the bed and torch. So, this corn. Okay. And tomatoes. I get tomato seed when you're done picking it. Awesome. A lot of games don't drop seeds. They just drop the fruit and you have to like harvest or, you know manipulate the fruit in your inventory to get the seed out which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because like I don't know I feel like like let's say you had a tomato in real life and you wanted a seed from that tomato you want to like get rid of the entire tomato for one seed right you would just pull a seed out of it and eat the tomato but you know whatever okay um we need fibers over here all right let's go over here to this bush Okay, there's a lot of tomatoes and corn just growing randomly. Does it expire? I don't know. Like, does it go bad? It doesn't look like it. Okay, corn seed, sticks. Okay, we need to make a bed. The bed, you need wood planks. So let's make a, that's a standing torch. We just want a normal torch. Okay, we can make that. I don't think I'm going to use it, but just to check it off, we'll make it. 
Um, a stone pickaxe. We need rope. So we're going to need fiber, which we have enough. There we go. Okay. Oh, and you can make 5, 10, or 15 of them over here. I didn't notice that. Okay. Uh, wood planks. Let's make 5 wood planks. Okay. And then we're, we're going to need more fiber. And I like how you can craft and move at the same time. A lot of, uh, a lot of games used to not do that. Like, you had to stand still. And if you're crafting and you just have to stand there, but um, many games recently I've noticed have implemented that you can just craft and move at the same time because I think they think they uh, not only do gamers want that, but it also speeds the pace up of the game a little bit because instead of just standing there for let's say 30 seconds waiting for a couple things to get done, the player could be waiting for it to get done, but also out hunting something or chopping a tree or you know I, I think it I think it's for the better that they let you craft while you walk I know it's not realistic because you're not going to be crafting an axe while you know hunting a boar you're not going to be doing that at the same time um, let's see is that all the fiber I don't, can't find any more bushes it's got to be more fiber surely right I mean, yeah, there's probably more fiber in the world, but this little island that I'm at... Oh, here's the map. Yeah, I'm on this wee little, little shrimpy island. This is a big area. Holy crap, that map is huge. Okay. Um, harvest these bushes over here. So I'm looking out at that desert. Okay, and those white lines on the, uh, the map, this line right here, is that bridge. Got it. Okay, I didn't know what the lines were. I thought maybe you can travel from this to this. I didn't know it was an actual physical bridge. I guess it is. Yeah, you can travel from this to this. But, yeah, it's, it's also a physical bridge. Okay, so we need a pickaxe, which we can make. And now, um, let's see, a campfire. Where is campfire? Isn't that at the top? Yes, we need firewood. And to make firewood... Okay, we need that, right? How many was that? It's not wheel because it's so slow. Okay, that was five. Okay, and I have 25 planks. I thought I was making five planks, but then I noticed this times five right here means, hey, one of these is five, and then I made five of one of these, so yeah. My bad. Okay, uh, a simple bed and a standing torch. I didn't know we needed a standing torch. Okay, we'll just go hit a tree while we make the bed. Alright. Got the axe out, and let's hit the tree a couple times. That should be enough. Standing torch. Quest completed. Now what? You gonna give me another quest? Can I drink this water? Yes, I can drink ocean water. That is very nice. Thank you. Okay. Um, should we eat something? I don't know. Eat. Okay. That didn't bring my hunger up very much. But then again, if you ate five tomatoes, I don't think you'd get... I don't think it'd make you full. It'd make you sick. And maybe make you go to the bathroom if you just ate five whole tomatoes. Just like have them in your hand like this and just down them. Yeah, I, I, I don't I don't think you'd be feeling good after that. Okay. Um Let's place our bed or something. Okay. Yeah, let's place the bed somewhere over here. I wanna make it mm mm mm. -mm. Yeah, let's go... What is this? There's a camp over there. Let's go over to that camp and see what that is. And then maybe put the bed over there. Because it is right, like, there. Straight ahead of me is where that camp is. But we have to go to this bridge over here to cross to get over there. By the time I get over there, it's going to be nighttime. But we have a torch. Thank God there's no fire on it. Okay. Alright, let's see here. 
uh, we got the the bridge going all the way across here and we want to cross that one yes okay we are coming off this little island and going to the mainland and this is a big ass bridge and we don't have any more quests so it says track quest there is no quest we do not have a quest at all uh corn juice so we can make a wooden mug let's go ahead and make five of these why i don't know and then we need more corn and tomatoes to make juice i don't know and then i want to see if the juice like enhances what you get from the tomato like you know how it increased our hunger maybe it's more for tomato juice i don't know if you think about it though you're crushing up a tomato and making juice and then drinking it. Does that really increase your hunger? You can make the argument no. But then I'm going to make the argument, how does eating a tomato increase your hunger too? All you did was crush it up and put it in a cup and make tomato juice. Right? <laughs> like, yeah. Corn juice, it says... Corn, I don't know, it fills you up more than tomatoes do, but still not a whole lot, you know? Like, if you had a, a bowl of just corn, not corn on the cob, just corn off the cob, and you had a bowl of it, you could eat that whole bowl and probably still be hungry. Alright. We made it across that bridge. This is a huge map because it just took me that long to walk only that far. Alright. Let's try to get to that camp. I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere over there. Okay. Okay. Um, if you hold down shift, can't tell if you move any faster. Like, up, down. That deer just fell out of the sky. Up, and, I guess you, I don't know, it feels like you might move a little faster? Maybe, by a couple percent? I couldn't tell if, I can't tell. And I can't tell if you can tell either. So, okay, let's, uh, drink some water. And keep on running. My hunger is almost gone here. I don't really have anything to eat except for corn. And we were just having this whole discussion. I don't see how that's going to fill me up. It didn't. I ate five raw ears of corn. Ear and everything. Cob, all of it. Just, it's all gone. And my hunger is only 25%. Okay, uh, that is like right in front of me. It should spawn in here in a second. Is it going to fall out of the sky like the uh, that deer did? I don't know. And I don't understand the name of this game. It said Wild West. What about this is wild? Well, okay, I get the wild. We're in, we're in the wild. And West. And it had a cowboy on it with a horse sitting in front of a campfire. I am not feeling that vibe at all. May, maybe you get that vibe later. But as of right now, I'm not feeling it. Maybe this camp will answer some questions. And I'll feel like a dumbass for judging it. Before I saw it. Um, okay. What is here? We should be here. It should be right here. I don't see anything. Hello? Like, we're right on top of it. Okay. Well, I don't see anything. All right, let's try to put the bed down. No, don't drop. Do we put it here and then, like, okay. Put the bed here, like this. Okay. Put the standing torch here. Like this. Right next to that tree so it burns it down. Set spawn point. Sure. Why not? Spawn point set. Can we turn this on? Okay, yes you can. Alright, that might be useful at night, but not right now. Um, okay. Well, we don't have any quests here. And I want to find more tomato just so I can make tomato juice and compare it to... My hunger is completely gone. And I'm not feeling any side effects of this. Is my health going down? It didn't look like it. Is that a person? Hello, sir? Let me approach you with my axe. 
Hi. How? Oh. You are definitely not a friendly. Okay. Okay. Wasted. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, let's, let's walk back over there. Now I gotta pick my stuff up. I'm not even at full health. Oh my god, it tells me to craft everything again? Uh, okay, well... I don't know about this game. This, um... Yeah. Like, I did that whole... The beginner task. I did it all. And now it wants me to do it again. And nothing happened. It's not like, here's a research bench. Here's walls. Here's a shelter. Of things you can build. I know this is only alpha. And it's very, very early access. At least this version I'm playing. And, um... Yeah. I, right now, the game feels like you got a good base. There's a good base here. Um, something to build upon, and I, I'm feeling it, I like it, you just need, it needs more, obviously, it's very bare bones, but it's, it's a good base of a game to build upon, and I like it, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, bye-bye.